convergence has become very sexy and contemporary word in all over the Korea. More familiar term of convergence is uh, in the word is interdisciplinary or interdisciplinary. Uh, these days, um, there has been much confusion about convergence. What is convergence? And everybody has their own philosophy about convergence. National Research Foundation of Korea defined convergence that breaks down any disciplinary boundaries and include multidisciplinary research, interdisciplinary, and transdisciplinary. National Research Foundation of Korea supports convergence researches extensively. Uh, convergence technology is the commercial outcome from convergence researches. Uh, one of the major concerns of funding agency us is how to design peer review processes to award more creative and transformative researches. A composing review panel is uh, based on different types of disciplinarity, as I said, multidisciplinary, uh, interdisciplinary, and transdisciplinary. And also, reviewers' attitude to handle those proposals are very, very different. So it is really important to share similar idea about different types of disciplinarity between funding agencies, uh, reviewers, and applicants. National Academies of uh, United States defines interdisciplinary researches that are mode of research that integrates information, concepts, and knowledge from two or more disciplines of specialized knowledge to uh, advance fundamental understandings from uh, whose solutions are beyond single discipline. So how can you define single discipline? So eventually we can uh, distinguish uh, multidisciplinary research, interdisciplinary research, and transdisciplinary research. So we start look at the Wikipedia, like everybody doing. In Wikipedia, academic discipline is defined as a knowledge or wisdom associated with one academic field of study or profession. And also, disciplines are defined or recognized by uh, academic journals in which uh, research result is published. And also, academic department uh, to which their practitioners belong. So we decide to scratch from academic journals to define disciplines quantitatively. Quantifying uh, analysis on extracting single disciplinary research area and interdisciplinary research area is based on the bibliometric data. We try to find single discipline from, uh, use, from databases of web of science using uh, academic department as a such option. Maybe you are not familiar with uh, Web of Science. Web of Science is the one of the popular uh, databases of scientific journals and their citations. It is really important uh, to give some kind of uh, quantitative, quantitative measurement of research outcome and uh, the specific impact of a specific journal. So we use the Web of Science. There are almost 20 million of publications in the database of Web of Science. So we select several large sets of the result as a single discipline. And we call the rest of them as a sub-discipline that can be categorized as uh, interdisciplinary research, multidisciplinary research, interdisciplinary research, and transdisciplinary research. For making discipline matrix to check the correlation with a set of single discipline and specific sub-discipline what you are interested in. The first step is random selection of publications. And the publications are ordered by its count from highest to lowest. After that, each journal is scored either linearly or exponentially. The same procedure was performed for publications of sub-disciplines are performed. Combine the weight of journals on uh, their own academic field, we introduce the field's conformance score. The interdisciplinary research, multidisciplinary research, uh, interdisciplinary research, and transdisciplinary research can be identified based on the characteristics of the field's conformance score matrix of a subdiscipline over the set of a single discipline. Uh, I'm going to give you an, an example of inner discipline case. The horizontal axis is a single discipline, y-axis is sub-discipline. 
Uh, the lighter color means stronger correlation with single, specific single discipline. In algebra, shows very strong relationship with mathematics, as you expected. It. It's no wonder. So we can easily assume algebra is the inner discipline of mathematics. I'm going to give you another example for uh, interdisciplinary research. For cognitive science and robotics, can you find any very light color? Anyone? No. So that means cognitive science and robotics doesn't have any strong correlation with any specific single discipline. So we can as easily assume robotics or cognitive science is the uh, interdisciplinary research. And also, based on the specific topic of cognitive science and robotics, it can be transdisciplinary research too. The matrix slides you see in the, here is the fruits of months and months of hard work from their, um, Dr. Song Jung Lee from National Research Foundation of Korea. He comes up very brilliant idea and developed a methodology that only very extremely patient person can do. I told you there are 20 million publications. We didn't use all of them, but still there are quite numbers. National Research Foundation of Korea believes that convergence researchers can enhance the national competitiveness of R&D by exploring new academic and scientific knowledge, uh, eventually enhance the quality of life of the known people. I'm deeply pleased to introduce two outstanding researchers to all of you. They can be the best examples of uh, which convergence research is pursued or and what expected from those researchers. This is the uh, potential energy landscape of the uh, cancer cell, where it shows uh, the attractor point where the cell proliferates. And we are expecting, uh, by combining the drug treatment, uh, we hope to induce uh, the apoptotic attractors. So this just illustrates how the computation goes ahead. I like to talk about the convergence between information technology and life sciences. There is a growing interest in systems biology where uh, we apply systems science to biology to understand the design principle underlying complex biological phenomena. In this direction, we are combining mathematical modeling, computational simulation, and biological experimentation to discover uh, new uh, principles underlying the complex biological phenomena. And it, uh, we are discovering many uh, intriguing principles uh, in this way that cannot be discovered by traditional bi uh, biological approach. On the other way around, we are also applying uh, the discovered biological principles to engineering problems to solve unsolved engineering uh, questions, which is now called bio-inspired engineering. And there is a huge challenge in this direction as well. Systems biology and bio-inspired engineering are opening up new paradigm shift and opportunities in both academia and industry. Thank you. I think convergence research can be expected the synergetic effect to the two or more science and technology area together. In areas contact with challenge, 
the challenge can be solved by other areas. According to complementary collaboration, this breakthrough is good result as well as potential convergence. I'm a civil engineer. I play with the Bernoulli's equation for my entire higher education period, about 10 long years. To, build, uh, to design dam or massive hydraulic structures. Uh, several weeks ago, I figured out the Bernoulli's equation was used in creating the hairs, computer-based modeling in, a, in this slide. I mean, it, you see those pictures from the, the famous Pixar character James P. Sullivan from the Monsters Incorporated. And I was shocked. I played with Bernoulli's equation for 10 years. I mean, the hard and cold equation can successfully transform to a beautiful art. How it can be? What a waste of my 10 years. I truly believe that convergence research is, can be a very strong platform for us, relatively, relatively new players in R&D field, to fill the scientific and technology gap from the well-developed countries. I wish more researchers break the boundary of their lifelong academic track and such for overlooked connection between concepts and knowledge and share wow I'm sorry share wow experience with me um, what do you think she is doing any ideas I have a present <laughs> surfing that's right very creative woman yeah actually she is surfing the white pillow at the bottom is her everyday surfing board. I share her creativity every single day. Thank you. Thank you very much.